Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're going to take a closer look at the works of mercy, first the corporal works, then the spiritual. Today, the fourth corporal work of mercy, harboring the harborless. This one, of course, doesn't relate to actual harbors. We're not obligated to worry about where people put their boats. The term harbor in this context means like a cross between shelter and home. Sheltering a person who has no other shelter from the elements is really pretty simple to understand. It's similar to the way we've been discussing food, drink, and clothing in the last few episodes. As with food, drink, and clothing, shelter is a need, not a desire. And as with them, we don't need to provide a fancy shelter, just one that will serve the purpose of protecting the person. However, what about that second point, a home? One thing a lot of people don't realize is the importance of belonging and human companionship. People need to belong to something. That's why so many people have such trouble resisting peer pressure, especially those who don't feel like they can fit in to any groups. When a person feels like they don't belong, like they just have no place to turn, that can cause a suffering of a deep and damaging kind. A suffering that in some cases, physical pain is preferable to. In order to help protect people from this kind of suffering, it can sometimes be helpful not only to talk to them, but to show that you appreciate their better qualities from time to time. This sort of behavior can really turn a shelter into a home, and even in normal interpersonal relationships, it can be a big help. Furthermore, as long as we don't start condoning or seeming to condone sins, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So, providing shelterless people with shelter is a great act of mercy. Providing the homeless with a home is an even greater act. Next, why should we visit the sick? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.